Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Uh, it feels like it's been such a long time ago since I filmed and posted a video, but it's actually been like two or three weeks, which is still quite a long time. But lately, I haven't really been in a super great headspace. I've been feeling so demotivated lately, and that's because of university, because I have a subject right now, which is called molecules, and it focuses a lot on like chemistry and like super tiny things in the body, which I am not that interested in. So I have like zero motivation to do anything for uni, and I only need to like seriously work on stuff for like one and a half weeks. And then I have a week off, and I go to Dublin with my mom, and I have like a little tiny vacation and I just am so looking forward to that vacation and just not having to do anything and I just I don't want to do anything anymore so that's also why I haven't been really active on YouTube because I've just been really like demotivated to do anything really but I'm finally back I didn't do a February wrap-up but today I'm gonna talk about the book that I read in March and February also actually kind of and the books that I plan on reading this month in April and because I have a little bit more spare time in April I hope they will be able to read more than I have in the past two months well let's start with the one and only book that I read in February and March and that is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and let me tell you guys I really enjoyed this book so everyone has been talking about this lately but it was featured in the January fairy loot box and I wasn't really like so hyped up that I was looking forward to the release date of this book but when I got it I was like oh this sounds really good I read it and it was awesome so I don't have the physical copy of the book because it's in my dorm I personally think that this book would be perfect for beginner fantasy readers I don't really know how to explain what this book is about so I will have a look for you on Goodreads. This book is about Jude, her twin sister Taryn and her older sister Vivian, whose parents have been murdered a couple of years ago when she was younger, and they have been taken from the human world into the fairy world. And in this fey world, they are being protected by this really great ruler that they sort of see as their father, but their relationship is really messed up because their fey father, of course, killed their like parents, which is sort of like so messed up, but they've been living in this fey world for a really, really long time. And this story is like all about the court intrigue of this world. I just don't really want to tell anything more about the story. I think that you should just read it. A lot of people said that not much happens in this story and I can kind of see where they're coming from, but I just really loved Holly Black's writing. So I'm so excited to pick up more of her books. I think that the pacing of the book like really starts to fasten around page 200 when you have a big coronation starting and the story just goes down from that point on and I loved it so much. I really like the characters, the world, the writing and I gave this one I think a four or a four and a half out of five stars and I really want to have this sequel and the title is out. It's called The Wicked King. There's even a synopsis, a cover. So I'm just like, like people give the book to me already because it looks like it's almost finished but we have to wait until January of 2019 so I'm really really sad. Then I was still currently reading A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle but I did not pick this up in March. I started this in February. I am halfway through and I initially read this because I really wanted to see the movie. The movie has gotten really quite bad reviews on IMDb, so I won't be going to it in the cinemas at all. And in my opinion, this is not that exciting for me. I don't know why I am not like so hyped about this, but every single time that I'm reading it, I'm like, it's fine, but I just don't feel like picking it up. So that is why I'm still currently reading it, and I do hope that I will finish this in April because I don't like not finishing books. Another book that I'm currently reading, and I'm like, almost finished with this. I am pretty sure I'm gonna finish it this week and that is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton and why am I saying that with such joy? That is because I've been saying for over one and a half years that I want to reread this book. This is the first book in a trilogy and this is like a fantasy Middle Eastern book and I love it so much. I'm finally rereading it. I'm almost done. I only need to read about 100 pages of the 360 and then I can continue on with the series. This story is about Amani Alhiza and she's a really badass female character who's really good with a gun. She's been living in this really small town called Dustwalk and it's just a really boring town. She is an orphan. She lives with her aunt and uncle who are really awful and then all of a sudden there is this really strange and mysterious foreigner into her little town and she is gonna escape with him 
And that is where the journey starts. I just love the world so much. And now that I am rereading it again, I am remembered why I loved this book the first time around. And I cannot wait to read the rest of the series after this. So I'm really, really bad at continuing and finishing a series. What I have decided to do right now is I will be reading the Rebel of the Sands trilogy. So the second book is A Traitor to the Throne by Alwyn Hamilton. It is a whole lot bigger than the first one. I believe that this one is around 360 pages and this one is almost 600 I want to say. So I think that this book will take me around two to three weeks to read with my schedule and stuff with uni. So that is definitely a book that I'm gonna read in April. But since I'm really really bad at continuing and finishing series, I probably want to read something else in between. How I am gonna read this series relatively fast for my paste is I'm gonna read Rebel of the Sands, an in-between book, Traitor to the Throne, the second book, an in-between book, and then Hero at the Fall, which is the third book in the series. So my in-between book between Rebel of the Sands and Traitor to the Throne will probably be Love, Hate, and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed. So I have the physical copy of this book, but it's in my dorm. That's the problem when you have three bookshelves and two out of the three are here and my other one is in the other city. <laughs> this book is an own voices coming of age debut in which an Indian American Muslim teen confronts Islamophobia. So it's really accurate to the situation which is going on in our world right now. It's very short, which is perfect for me, and I think that it's really an important story that needs to be told and that needs to be heard. So I cannot wait to read it and see what I will think of it. That is my March wrap up and my April TBR. Let me know in the comments down below which books you have read and maybe if you have also read one of the books that I mentioned in this video and what you thought of it. You guys can follow me on all of my different social media pages, of course. I have Goodreads, Instagram, Snapchat, plus an email address and links to that will be in the description bar down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or down here. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!